I'm going to be taking the top 20 most underrated things to show to life and telling you guys about them so you guys can use them in this game. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, and subscribe to the video, guys. Alright, so coming to 20th place is actually going to be Shadow. Now, the only reason why Shadow is going to be here is because of Shadow's third move. Shadow's third move is a very long place lock stun. It triggers multiple times, which is the reason why it lasts so long. The reason why people generally don't really use this is because, one, they don't know it stuns for so long because it was buff. Or two, they just think there's better stuns in this game. And there definitely are better stuns, but do not sleep on Shadow third. It is a very long place lock stun and it could assist you in your combos now coming to 90 place it could be stone third move stone third move is an almost instant iframe move now the reason why people generally don't really know about this is because a lot of people don't really use it in general because there's just better iframes in the game but do not sleep on stone third if you can't manage to fit an iframe into your kid and you you know you have an element slot available throw stone third in and then that would do you justice because stone third is a, uh, as i said it's a near instant iframe the only issue with it in my opinion is that the fact that it creates the thing around you which makes it impossible possible to escape but there's other ways that you could escape it there's other ways that you could actually abuse this in combos and stuff like that and the fact it's an iframe on an element makes it very very good now chaos and order also have iframe abilities which is the fifth ability so that's something to take into account as well and i would also put that into 19th place they come in 18th place it could be akuma eternal hand now the reason why this one's not gonna be ranked higher is because people are starting to realize just how good akuma eternal hand is akuma eternal hand is honestly insanely good it's a really really good mode in general it's basically free to use because it's only 10 mode drain it gives you second life and it's a counter it's overall a really good z spec mode it's probably the best z spec mode in the game right now and bro for some reason just won't nerf it so you guys should go ahead and get it and you, you guys could probably use it for the next few months this mode is absolutely amazing it's basically free to use and the previous things i mentioned now coming to 17 place is going to be the martial art hurricane fist now hurricane fist was you know pretty popular for a while and then it kind of fell off i barely see anyone using it i don't think i've seen someone use it in the past i, I probably stopped seeing people use it two weeks after it was released i'm basically the only person i see ever use hurricane fist nowadays and it is an insanely good martial art it's a ragdoll combo extending and it pulls people in when you m1 while you guys may be thinking oh pulling them in while you, while you m1 that doesn't seem very useful it is extremely useful if you if they're actually further away from you because it will pull them into your m1s which will actually allow them to get m1 combo when they could have just blocked a perfect block otherwise hurricane fist is a very slept on martial art it's definitely worth checking out if you guys haven't yet they come to 60 place it could be sub jutsu snake summon and frog summon now these ones are actually very underrated in my opinion they're extremely good at zoning people so you basically summon a big fat frog on the ground and it basically just smacks people around it zones people away from you it's a really good zoning ability it allows you to charge your chi the only issue with it is that sometimes you know they can just they can get past it, it only they only last for like two or three m1 combos so they don't last for that long but i do actually use these quite a bit in pvp because they do allow you to charge your chi and i do think they're criminally underrated now coming to 50 place it could be very surprising to some people it's going to be medical self heal now i'm not gonna talk about this that much because you guys already know what it does it heals you uh I, do, I almost never see people use this and it's honestly you know really a good thing but it definitely is underrated so it has to be on this list the fact there are so many escape tools in this game now make it make medical self heal an extremely good subjutsu to have just in your kit because you will very rarely use all six abilities in your element slots so just throwing this in will instantly make it so you have another healing tool basically heals as much as a consumable while taking all your cheese so you have to make sure you, you are far away from them so you can use this and then charge your chi but if you know how to use this correctly you will basically have full hp 24 7 and yeah it's a very underrated subjutsu have you ever gotten 80 spin rarity and gotten something like just atomic well that's because you haven't hit the like button in this video yet if you hit the like button in this video you're guaranteed to get 10 million times luck 100 percent now coming to 14 place it could be gravity art now the gravity art's another martial art now i do think gravity art the ragdoll m1s are, are they're borderline useless there there's the m1s already stun people so the ragdoll stun attached to it honestly just makes it a little bit harder to combo people but the q spec is really good it auto tracks the people it does a lot of damage and it does stack on the amount of players so i do think gravity art even though the, the m1s aren't really that good i do think the q spec does kind of carry it and i do think that is a solid 14 place for this list to come to 13 place it's going to be the sub ability mode dunes fate z3 the third mode of dunes fate the, i'm not going to talk about this that much it should be pretty obvious the q spec does 80k damage it guard breaks it auto tracks and it's a projectile what more could you ask for? Now, coming to 12th place, it could be the weapon Shizen Shield. Now, a lot of people probably are not expecting this, but Shizen Shield is an extremely good weapon. Now, if, like I said before, Stone Third, if you're not using an iframe in your kit, Shizen Shield is basically a five second cooldown iframe move that can start your combos. I've had this used against me a few times, and it is one of the most annoying weapons to ever fight in this game. You will never be able to hit the person because it's an iframe that charges at you. So, the only way to avoid it is to go into the air. And by the time you 
time you go to the air and get back into the ground, it'll be off cooldown again. So they could just keep spamming it. It's an extremely spammable iframe combo starting weapon. It's insanely overpowered, and I definitely think it deserves 12th place on this list. The coming in 11th place is going to be Combustion. Combustion should, you know, maybe surprising to some people because I am a Combustion hater. But I do acknowledge, first of all, Combustion first move. Really good for combo extending. The fact they made it instant and the fact that it's not in the Sun Globe cooldown anymore. It's an extremely good combo extending move that has a bit of range to it. You can also catch some people off guard sometimes since it's an instant move and you actually may be able to start combos on people that you would not be able to start otherwise also the six move the combustion does tons of damage you could throw it into a combo for some free damage output and it actually is really good for burst combos the coming to 10th place is going to be diosenko mode diosenko mode is extremely underrated the first mode is extremely good for dueling the c-spec allows you to start combos pretty much unavoidable if you have really good aim but you have to have good aim to use it the second mode is really good for team fights um it stacks with multiple people it does a lot of damage in general so i the first mode is good for 1v1s the second mode is good for team fights it's a really good mode in general the only issue is that it drains a ton of mode now ninth place is going to be alfie rama shizen third move alfie rama shizen third move is extremely underrated i use this move against someone there's nothing they can do because after they made inferno moves or the blaze moves not trigger counters anymore there is nothing you could do against this move all you could do is run away if they manage to get this move off and you get hit by it you are instantly getting comboed no matter if you're using a counter or not it's an extremely good move uh i actually love using the third move after on my shizen it get, definitely catches people off guard because they almost never fight after on my shizen so if you guys haven't used this yet definitely check it out it does a lot of damage it's really good for combo starting or combo extending and it's basically unavoidable now coming in eighth place it could be narumaki second mode narumaki second mode definitely deserves eighth place on this list ever since the timer was removed it definitely is an insanely good mode it has really high stats it has really good abilities in general and you know there's not much to say other than that the m1s do drain chi for people i do think that ever since the timer was removed narmaki definitely stepped up as the bloodline it's significantly better now in the second mode is a testament to just how good narmaki is now this one may be surprising to some people but coming in seventh place is going to be dongan dongan is extremely underrated now the mode is basically trash i mean i'm not gonna lie the mode is borderline garbage but dongan does tons of damage with the abilities it's insanely easy to combo extend with dongan the counter is extremely good dongan is actually it was buffed to the point where it actually is extremely good now it, it i i don't know why i find this absolutely hilarious but this is hilarious to me because dagen was trash for so long this bloodline was absolute doo-doo water and now it's been buffed to the point where it's actually underrated if you guys haven't used dagen yet feel free to check it out it's not a rare bloodline so you guys can probably pick it up now coming to sixth place it could be saburu and odin saburu mode now saburu c-spec and odin saburu q-spec are extremely good abilities they're blocked by passing instantly instant abilities that could start your combos the reason why you don't really see people use these that much is because people generally do not know how good these modes are so there you go now you guys know how good the modes are also odin sabru c-spec is another stun that you can use in your combo so just keep that in mind if you're gonna be the odin sabru odin sabru is pretty much sabru but the c-spec is on the q-spec which is good or worse in some points now fifth place is gonna be the entire shiro glacier bloodline shiro glacier in general is extremely underrated i haven't done it any favors by ranking it you know not that high on my tier list but that doesn't mean it's bad either shiro glacier definitely is not you know trash as a lot of people say um it has really easy to hit abilities as stuns not on the sun global cooldown it does a lot of damage in general and it's honestly really easy to integrate into your combos now the only issue with shiro glacier that i you know i can think of is that the fact that it, the moves do require some thought to use properly and they're they're generally more of reaction abilities than actual you know starting abilities by that i mean you're most likely going to be using these abilities after they do something more than you're going to be using them before they do something if that makes sense to you guys it's more reaction based um generally that's not as good as other things as shinder life but it definitely isn't bad either now coming to fourth place it could be kaijin second this move is extremely busted now i'm gonna say this th there was a wiki person named raha i 1v1 him of course i won this dude showed me just how good kaijin second is kaijin second is absolutely insane you can't counter it it auto tracks to you it lasts like 10 seconds to let your other cooldowns get back up and actually does quite a bit of damage to you this move is is extremely good it actually is criminally underrated i think this move should be, i i don't think it should be used in every moveset because that would be extremely annoying but i think it is good enough to be used in every single person's moveset this move is extremely good and you guys should definitely check it out if you haven't already they come to third place it could be van helsing 
Van Helsing, the entire bloodline, is extremely underrated. The third move they actually buffed recently, they removed it from the iframe global cooldown. Now, this may not seem like a big deal to you guys, but this is an extremely big deal. The third move is one of Van Helsing's better moves, and they actually made it usable, which makes Van Helsing, in general, just extremely good now. So the third move, you could combo extend with it. It's instant. It's a really good move in general. The second move can catch people off guard quite a bit. It actually does quite a bit of damage as well and can start your combos. You have to have a brain when using the second move, though, because the second move is very easy to counter. So make sure to put some thought into using the second one. First move is just a stun move. You can make, you can get 150k damage combo from the move alone, but you just have to know how to use M1 combos. The mode itself is basically just iframe spam. It's an extremely good mode, and Van Helsing in general is extremely underrated as a bloodline, and it's very good. The company to second place on this list is going to be Senko First. Yes, you heard that correctly. Senko First is going to be second place on this list. This move is a block breaking instant long range ability that is equipable to your element slots now if that doesn't sound busted i don't know what does sound busted to you it teleports you to them which allows you to start close range combos it block breaks and hit stuns them so they can't do anything or block it it is instant so you can't even do anything they they'll instantly use the move against you there's nothing you can do against it you're gonna get hit by it unless you are unless you unless you somehow predict before they use the move like if you use the counter before they even use the move then you're gonna get hit by it 100 you're gonna get hit by it you're gonna get comboed it's very unavoidable it's an extremely good move and it's equipable to your element slots which makes it even better since it's not taking up any of your bloodline slots by the way guys what do you guys think is the most underrated thing in the game or what is something that you guys use that you guys think is underrated if you comments below we'll be checking them out the coming in first place is going to be the best bloodline in the game mud mud is so broken all right obviously this is a joke guys rude kachu mode is going to be in first rude kachu mode by itself does 250 300 000 damage in a combo now that may not be very significant to you because there's 150k damage perfect block but it also you know all right so i'll just go through it real quick for you guys the c-spec is a delayed stun it does a ton of damage to people you can integrate into your combos very easily the q-spec is a actually just a you basically punch the air and it does does a lot of damage someone also drains their chi so that's something to be wary about and the throwable is a tornado ability that basically goes around wherever you aim your mouse and actually can't stun them while you charge your chi rude kachu mode is definitely very underrated it's an extremely good mode i would actually rate it top five modes in this game and you guys should definitely check it out if you haven't anyways that's actually before this video if you enjoyed this video remember to like swear i posted guys bye bye